Being a part-time insurance broker and a full-time mum, Natasha Barker is also one of Australia's best hopes for a weightlifting medal at next year's Commonwealth Games. She already owns three silvers from the 2002 Games in Manchester and now she's chasing gold in Melbourne. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Before we talk about your prospects for, uh, for, for gold at the Commonwealth Games, I've got to ask you, across the weekend, your sport's been rocked by five of uh, 22 hopefuls who were there at the selections in Melbourne returning positive uh, drug tests for stimulants or performance-enhancing drugs. What, what can you tell us about that and how has it affected your sport? Um, I, I really can't tell you anything. I, I don't know the details. And to be honest, I'm just trying to focus on myself and my own preparation, my own performance doesn't affect me personally so I'm just trying not to get distracted by it all. I'm sure. You know the people that have been named? No, I don't, I don't know anything. Nothing's been announced, nothing official's been said. I just don't know. What sort of impact has it had? Obviously people are talking about it in, in the sport. Um, yeah, again, I don't think anybody really knows what, what is happening. Um, there's been no official statement so I really can't tell you anything about it. Okay, obviously they're investigating it and we'll hear more as uh, I'm the, sure you will. The, the, the B tests get, uh, get checked out as well. All right, 84 days to go till the Commonwealth Games. It's getting close, isn't it? It is. You're <laughs> such a tiny little thing. How do you lift such incredible weights? Um, well, I think a lot of it's mind over matter sometimes. You have to be, you know, obviously very confident and, um, you know, thinking positive that you're going to be able to get the weight up, but um, also obviously a lot of training and hard work. How much training? Uh, well, at the moment I'm actually not training as much as I'd like to. Um, having a child, a small child, I, I'm only really able to get about six sessions in a week, whereas before the Manchester Games I was training up to 13 times a week. So well, You've got a little, what, it's nearly two? He's, he'll be two next month, yes. Brandon. So, yes, Brandon. He keeps me on my toes. <laughs> I bet he does. <laughs> Dad obviously takes care of them, or you got some help? Yeah, yeah. Um, my husband's a great support. Um, also, my mother looks after him as well. So, yeah, without that support, I, I just I couldn't be doing what I'm doing. So it's great. I guess your sport is one that you can train at home. Can you get out the backyard and pump that um, iron? Well, I have got a platform set up in my garage. Um, my, my husband's not too happy about it because it's sort of <laughs> taking up in, valuable in space garage, in his garage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What would you rather have in there? <laughs> Probably more motorbikes and, uh, <laughs> and things, but... Uh, it's not one of those bikes that rips the bike to bits and yes, leaves, yep, leaves that's the him, bits restores, all around the place? Yep, restores all the bikes, yep. <laughs> and when he wants to lift it up, he says, here, love, come and give us a hand with this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah. Won, you won three silvers in Manchester. What's, how much do you have to go to win gold? Um, well, it's, it's sort of a, a hard thing to predict. I mean, at, at Commonwealth Games time, or any big competition for that matter, anything can happen, so... Um, I'm currently ranked third in the Commonwealth, so you know that's a good chance just to start with, and and then hope I'm hoping on the day I'll you know have a good day, and and maybe the person that's ranked first may not have a good day, and who knows what will happen. Hometown advantage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sort of I'm really excited about it. Well, Natasha, thank you for coming, and we wish you well for the Commonwealth Games. Have a great Christmas, and thanks for your time. Thank you for having me.